Hi beauties and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to swatch some of my favorite drugstore lipsticks at the moment. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Also in today's video, I'm going to host a small giveaway. I haven't hosted a giveaway since the holidays and I felt like giving something away. So I tied a giveaway to today's video. I'm going to give away a couple of lipsticks that I'm going to talk to you guys about in this video as well as a Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette. I just felt like throwing the palette in there. So stay tuned until the end of this video and I'm going to talk to you guys about the giveaway. I did want to let you guys know that I am wearing the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette today. So I did use it to create the eyeshadow look that I'm wearing today and it took me a while to purchase this palette and then it took me a while to try it because I've been trying everything else but I absolutely love it and I thought that today's video would be a perfect time to give one away to you guys so let's talk about let's talk about my favorite drugstore lipsticks at the moment so these launched last year I did a little bit of research and tried to figure out exactly when they launched and I'm not sure of the launch date in 2018. I saw them being talked about in the spring. So I'm assuming sometime in the spring of 2018 is when they launched these particular lipsticks. These are by Maybelline and they're called Shine Compulsion Lipstick by Color Sensational. They have a new high shine lipstick formula. Introducing our first all in lipstick formula. 60% reflective oils for decadent shine and deep hydration. Meet Maybelline's most brilliant lipstick, Shine Compulsion Lipstick Makeup by Color Sensational. And it did win a Fall New Beauty Award in 2018. This was the Oprah Magazine Fall New Beauty Awards in 2018. Undressed Pink and Baddest Beige were my first couple of shades. And I love the shades. I love the way these lipsticks look. So I decided to go back and buy a couple of more and then I bought a couple of more. <laughs> I ended up with like seven or eight shades because I had half of the collection. There are only 15 shades. I decided to go hunt down the rest of them and film this video for you guys today so that you can see what all of them look like on me. <laughs> Without further delay, let's get started. Right now I'm just wearing lip gloss. I'm going to take this off. I have a few lip liners here. This is my cork lip liner by MAC as well as Ground Control and Contour by Pat McGrath. So I may use these, especially for those lighter shades. Some of these I have tried and some I have not. I won't talk through this whole video, just go ahead and let you know. It's shaped a little different, it's sort of like a bomb, right? So let's swatch it on my hand here. So that's what it looks like. This is Baddest Beige. These are so creamy that you really don't have to use a heavy hand at all. This is Baddest Beige without a lip liner. Let me show you why the lip liner is important. And this is Cork. Normally, I would put the lip liner on, of course, at the beginning, but I wanted you guys to see what it looks like without the lip liner. So, this is what it looks like with it. And I would normally rub this in a little bit more. Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to blend a little more. Okay, so now you guys see. Look at the high shine. It's as if you have on a gloss and these wear a long time. I had on another one last week and it was on my lips up until I ate lunch and wiped it off. Like even though this is a creamy lipstick, it stays on a very long time. I was really shocked. It doesn't gather here in your lips. Can't believe it comes from the drugstore and I continue to recommend it to people all the time. So now I'm going to play a little music and we're going to swatch the other 14 shades.
I wore the shade Taupe Seduction in my recent NYX video as well as my ring light video. I love this shade. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. I like this one. It has a little pink in it, a little bit.
so that concludes all of my swatches i'm wearing baddest beige right now i have on ground control and contour those are my pat mcgrath shades the contour shade is a little bit light for me but it looks like a, a medium brown or light brown on someone who is fair and then this one is much deeper so i mix them together to get what you see here and i just went back to this one because i'm going to talk about the giveaway in a little bit and this is one of the shades i'm giving away let me just kind of sum everything up I love the shades and I, I don't even know if I can pick a favorite, the, but there were a few. I love their shade selection. There are a lot of shades for summer, some for fall, some that are bright, some that are deep, and um, some that are new like I'm wearing now. So there's a wide range in these 15 shades. They go on beautifully, as I said. They're shiny and silky and just gorgeous and easy to work with. They're very comfortable on the lips, very lightweight, and most of them did not require a lip liner from me. The two that I like to wear lip liner with are the Baddest Beige and the Undressed Pink, but the others seem to be pretty good without a lip liner. So again, these are my favorite drugstore lipsticks right now. I like matte lipsticks, but I don't wear them as much. I prefer lip gloss topping my lipsticks. So these shiny lipsticks are perfect for me because I really can wear them without topping them with a gloss they're shiny enough on their own. So I love them. They're more expensive at the drugstore, but if you purchase them at Walmart, they're less than $6. Less than $6. So I love them. So now let's talk about my giveaway, guys. The two lipsticks that I'm giving away are Baddest Beige. I'm wearing that one now. And I'm also giving away Secret Blush. I chose this one because it has a little bit more color, but still would look good for every day. I didn't want to pick a shade that was too dramatic because I don't know who my winner's gonna be. So I kind of tried to keep it safe with my choices. But this one has a little more color. Again, this is Secret Blush. And then Baddest Beige is the nude. And the reason I chose this one is because it's nude, everybody can wear it. Again, if you are my complexion or darker, you can wear it with a lip liner. And this is the shade that a lot of people here on YouTube talk about is Baddest Beige. I hear this one mentioned more than any of the others. Andre's pink shade is my favorite nude. I don't have a favorite of the others yet. I'm working on it. I'm also going to toss in a couple of Too Faced sample size mascaras. This is my favorite mascara. One is waterproof and one is the regular one. And I already have a backup of this. So I decided to include these deluxe samples in my giveaway. Finally, this is the Dream Street palette. And this is the winners. This one is mine. Okay. So this is the winners. And again, I've had it a while just now trying it, guys, because I've just been trying so many of my other palettes that I just hadn't used it yet. It's amazing. So I just pulled it out like yesterday. <laughs> I just pulled it out yesterday for the first time. And I love it. And I knew I'd love it. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. I'm wearing it today. It's beautiful. So I wanted to give away these lipsticks, but I knew that the lipsticks wouldn't be enough by themselves. And I said, what can I add? So that's when I decided to give away the palette and a couple of my mini mascaras. So that's in my little mini, just because I love you giveaway. This is what you need to know about the giveaway. The giveaway will last for two weeks. I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video edited and up. So make sure that you check the description box for the dates, but it will be a two week giveaway. All you have to do is click the raffle copter link that's going to be in the description box and it will take you to raffle copter and you just follow the instructions there and you can enter to win there. That is where you will get your official entry on. So make sure you go to raffle copter. I will use raffle copter to randomly select a winner. This giveaway is open internationally and there will be all sorts of giveaway instructions and rules in the description box. Make sure you read through them. A lot of times people don't read the rules and they break the rules and they don't win. I think sometimes it takes me four or five times drawing a name until I find a winner who has followed all of the rules. For example, you must be subscribed to my channel. You must like this video and comment down below any positive comment that you wish. Okay? Any comment this time, guys. Oftentimes people won't comment and people won't like the video. And so if you don't do those things, you can't win. So make sure you do all three of those things. Those are the requirements. There will be lots of optional ways at Rafflecopter that you can enter to win. If you're international, check any rules in your country for receiving packages from the United States. Sometimes you have to pay a fee in order to receive a package from the U.S. 
So make sure that you check with your country's mailing rules to make sure that you are prepared to receive the gift if you're selected as the winner. If I have failed to mention something, I won't be able to come back and add it to this video. So it will be down in the description box. So make sure you check there, review all the rules, yada yada. Make sure you do that so that you can win, guys. I like to do these giveaways because I like to show my appreciation for my subscribers. And I really appreciate you guys. My channel has grown quite a bit here recently. And I'm hoping that it's going to grow some more in 2019. But it's grown quite a bit here recently with people genuinely liking my content and subscribing to my channel. And that always makes me feel good. So I want to give you guys a big thank you for supporting my channel. So that concludes my video for today. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next one. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.